when we first got married, I think I expected him to just know all of my needs and desires. Um, no relationship is perfect. No marriage is perfect. Obviously, people fight disagreements. What have you learned about communication? How do you and Grant handle a disagreement? What is your tips on that? Because sometimes it happens quick and sometimes it takes a minute, <laughs> but... Yeah, Sarah, you know, he would love to be here for this interview to answer that question for you because I'm sure he'd have a lot to say. We have learned a lot. Um, I do think, you know, there is a big adjustment when, you know, you have you've never been married. You never lived with someone before you. There's so much there's so much new. And so, you know, we moved in uh, after we got married into our home and, and you know, you're having home problems and you're having, you know, just life things going on and you're now learning how to respond to those things and handle those things with another person. Um, and I think that's something that's so interesting about relationships is that a lot of it is not even like about you. There's so much that goes on around you and that happens to you that you don't even have control over and you're learning how to respond and how to handle it with grace. <laughs> and so we definitely, that was a big adjustment. Um, for us at the beginning, I would say the first couple of months, we were definitely trying to find our bearings and figure out, you know, how to just respond well to things. You're learning a lot about that person. Oh, this is how you, you like to spend your mornings. You know, this is what you like to eat at night. And, um, you know, you expect more time together. You expect to, to be with friends more. And so you're just learning um, a lot of those things. But I, I agree with what you said about how important communication is. I think that's something I've seen um, is just the power of, of communicating, you know, hey, uh, I think for me, for example, I was very, um, when we first got married, I think I expected him to just know all of my needs and desires. And so I, that was very unfair to him. And so I finally had to get to a point where I was like, okay, hey, when I come home from a three or four day trip, I would love to have the whole evening with just you. I want us to eat a meal together. I want us to ask intentional questions together um, and just enjoy an evening. Um, and I had to really learn to communicate that because that wasn't something he just could understand on his own. So we've learned definitely um, through uh, just the importance of communication through trial and error, like the moments where we've done just such a bad job of it and the moments we've crushed it. Um, and I think just having grace for each other and patience for each other is so important. And that was something that, again, I had to learn very early on is, um, hey, like, don't take life so seriously. Like he's he's not God, so he's going to fail me and he's going to let me down and I'm not going to meet his every need all the time and he's not going to meet my every need all the time. And that's why my hope is not in him. And I think that's really, really important as a believer is to make sure that you're seeking that relationship with God. And if you're trying to find um, you know, all of your hope, all of your worth, all of your value, all of your purpose, everything in a person and in a relationship uh, with another human, it's going to continue to let you down. And so for me, it's been so important in the mornings. Like I wake up, I go have my time with, with God and I get in my, I have a prayer closet and I get in my prayer closet and I pray and, um, and I just spend time, you know, reading the Bible and just like filling myself up and reminding myself of what's most important. And then from that place, I'm able to really be the wife that God's called me to be and to really love him well and, and to meet his needs. And I think we've both seen the importance of that, especially when conflict arises. You kind of mentioned that, but especially when conflict arises, like if I have not spent time with the Lord and if I have not uh, reminded myself of what's most important, that's where a really you know, not so pretty side of Maddie can come out and I can just be really selfish and, and, and just have such unfair expectations. And so that's why it's really important for me to kind of get my heart right in the mornings and, um, and to just align myself with, uh, with the Lord and, and kind of love from that place.